Here's how I can fully customize this wavy text pattern here in Illustrator. Step one, select the type tool and type in something. And I gotta go with the humane font, bold. Let's create some more copies of this. So press and hold all to drag it downwards. Also press and hold shift, drag it here. Press control D a couple of times to duplicate it. Select all of it. Press and hold Alt, drag it to the right to duplicate, and we're gonna intersect it right here and put it a little bit more down. I'm gonna select all of it, press and hold Alt again, and bring it here where they intersect. Let's select all, and we're gonna go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, you can go to Windows and select the symbols. Let's go and drag and drop the text pattern into the symbols. Click OK. Now you can delete the text pattern. Now let's go and select the line tool and I'm gonna go and swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna create a line like this. You also can press and hold shift to make it straight. Now let's go to the effects, distort and transform, select zigzag. Let's go and select the smooth. Here you can increase or decrease the size of the waves. I'm gonna go with six and, and here you can increase or decrease how big the waves you wanna be. I'm gonna go with 24, click OK. Let's go to the effects again, 3D materials. Let's go to 3D classic, select extrude and bevel. Now here we're gonna go to the extrude depth, increase it. And you also can rotate the cube. There you go, something like this. Let's go and click on the map art. Make sure to check invisible geometry. And we're gonna go and search for the side of this 3D shape where you can upload the text. But I think this is the back side, so I'm gonna go to the third one. And let's go to the symbol, select the symbol that you created. And here you can rotate it however you like. Press and hold shift and rotate. You also can scale it down, scale, press and hold shift and reposition. Let's click OK. I'm also going to go and increase the perspective to make it look even better. And I also can rotate it even more. I think this is pretty cool already. I'm going to click OK, zoom in. And if you select the direct selection tool and modify this line, you can always extend or manipulate the wave. I think this is pretty successful. And this is how you make this text pattern here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.